25 years old. 25. It's crazy because I never thought I would see 25. Honestly, if you had my life back in the day, day, then you will understand. If you knew me back then, then you will understand what I mean when I say that. Um, I learned a lot in my 25 years. I don't even feel 25, honestly. I mean, yes, hey, it's my birthday and all that, but it's just another day to, for me. Like, as long as I'm alive and I'm walking around and everything else and just acknowledging the fact that I've grown so much. Like, 24 has been a hell of a journey for me, um, especially with the pandemic. <laughs> it's been an interesting year. I was not expecting that, okay? Like, I don't think any of us were suspecting that. But I'm just really reflecting, and I've been doing a lot of that even because, you know, since I'm graduating tomorrow, like my, my college journey, at least for my associate's degree, or degrees, because I'm getting two, um, it ends tomorrow. It officially ends tomorrow, and, and, and I'm celebrating it tomorrow. And even that was a crazy journey. You know, um, I didn't, you know, looking back on my life, it's a lot of things that I have now that I'm just not used to having. And I don't know what I did in my life to acquire these things. Um, I went from having friends who judged me because I was just being myself, people who judged me because I told the truth and they couldn't handle the truth. I've had um, people that I, I did things for and I, I didn't get appreciated for it. You know what I mean? It's like they kept sucking me dry and sucking me dry until I had nothing left. You know, I went from that to, for one, I just want to shout out my homegirls. Um... I would name them, <laughs> but I don't want no, no negative energy going to them. But I'll just say one's a Pisces and one's a Virgo. Leo Virgo, technically. Um, but she's a Virgo. And I don't know what I did in my life to, 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 to have them be a part of it. You know, with my Pisces friend, like I met her four years ago. And... I will only see her once a semester, once, once. And then as time went on, um, as I started to lose friends, we started to see each other more and more. And now we talk damn near every day. Um, she's a great person. You know, she's my little Pisces hothead. <laughs> but, um, which, you know, my moon is in Pisces. And I feel like Pisces are great. Uh, uh, Pisces women are, are beautiful. I don't know about the men. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But Pisces are, are great. I, I love Pisces. Um, and as far as my Virgo friend, I met her in passing. And it's weird because we only met one time. And then I um we followed each other. Well, she followed me on Instagram. And because I had like a bone phone, I couldn't follow her back. So, um, when I got my new phone, I looked at my followers. I said, let me go ahead and, 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 and follow this girl. But then I'm looking at her, her profile. And I'm like, she's so freaking pretty. Like, she got to be a catfish because she's so freaking pretty. And then, you know, I followed her and she followed me. And we would talk from time to time. And then, um, I had did a story time and she wanted to know the extra tea about the story. And I, I, so I called her up, but then I was thinking, now what if we get on the phone, but nothing happens? Like, it's just an awkward conversation. We ended up talking about pop culture, spirituality, Zodiac. My hair is not, fuck, it's not doing it today. But um, anyway, we ended up talking about so much. We, I, I was worried about having like a five minute conversation, but we ended up having a five hour conversation. And it's been like that since then, you know? 
and she's great as well like like i love virgos my rising is virgo but i love virgos because virgos are so humble and they're so they're so nice like i i haven't met a mean virgo yet they're nice until you you insult them personally <laughs> <laughs> They're not ones to try because they'll come for your neck, okay? <laughs> but I love them, and I, I don't even call them my friends. I call them my sisters, you know, because they've been there for me. They set me straight when I need to be set straight, <laughs> you know? If I, this time I wanted to give up and quit, you know, I'll blame myself for something. And then and, and I'll take accountability, you know, if I feel like I need to take accountability, and of course they'll be like, no, 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 girl, get your get your ass up. No, <laughs> no, no, we're not gonna play that game. Like, like everybody's not perfect, but you know what? You got this, sis. You got this. We're not about to let this. No. And I just want to thank them because I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have graduated. I wouldn't have. And that's the thing too. And it's like when it comes to my graduation. It's not just me. This is what I was explaining to my mom. It's not just me who did it. Like, we all did it. It's not just me. You know, I have to thank them because there are times where I want to quit. And and, and and I had anxiety attacks and I cried and I wasn't sure. And then there was personal stuff going on in between that, you know. And they've been there for me. They, they've been there and they let me be me. Now, they check me when I'm getting a little reckless, but... They let me be me for the most part. And I'm still not used to having friends like that. My bad sisters like that. And I just want to thank my family because my family is not the most perfect family. You know, we 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 have our ways about us and everybody is toxic to a certain degree. It's all about healing. It's all about healing. And I have to thank them, especially my mom, because... Me and my mom went through some hard times. It was to the point where I thought I was going to lose her and she was going to lose me because we didn't get along. I come from a single parent household. Uh, my mother's married now, but, but I come from a single parent household and she did it all by herself, started from the age of 19. And because she had to work and, and, and take hold it down, I didn't really have that closest with her and she didn't have the closest with me because she was always working. So she didn't really know me and I didn't really know her. I thought she was one way, she thought I was one way. And 10 years ago, we were in a bad space as far as mother-daughter bond goes. Like it was to the point where if people saw us, people would thought that we hated each other. And but I feel like during that time, like I told my mom, I said, I feel like during that time, even though it was a hard time for both of us, because I had my own mental issues going on. I was not focused on school or anything. I was suicidal. I was depressed. I was infatuated with death. And that's one thing that I kind of had to accept when taking my um social, uh, not social, um suicide prevention class that helped me realize that, wow, I think I just had an infatuation with dying. Not necessarily with suicide, but um, well, I, I told my mom, I'm like, it, it, I feel like during that time, even though it was a harsh time, we got to know each other. And now we are closer than ever. We still have our moments where we have, she got set me straight sometimes and I gotta, I gotta, you know, be respectful, but I gotta, I gotta put her in her place sometimes too. <laughs> but the best thing about our relationship is that we talk. I think because we're so much alike, we bash heads a lot, but we talk about it and we get an understanding. And I have to thank her because she's the woman I looked up to growing up. Like she's the woman that I wanted to be just like growing up. And she will always say, Jess, don't be like me, be better than me. So I have to thank her and I have to thank my brother and thank my stepdad and thank my grandma and thank everybody, you know, just everybody, everybody who was a part of my, or who still is a part of my journey. I have to thank uh, just people that, that have, was passing through on my journey. Just, hey, how you doing? Give me some tips and then we keep it moving. Even to people who wronged me. And I have to thank them because they made me stronger, you know? 
as crazy as that sounds, it makes me stronger. And I feel like last year was a very trying year as far as friendships go because I lost friendships because I'm on this spiritual journey. And I'm sitting here giving my energy to something that doesn't really someone who doesn't really serve me a purpose not 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 a good purpose <laughs> you know like like i mean i guess you could say like this person in my life she kind of did serve a purpose because she taught me you know she, she i found i guess you could say i saw how worthy i really am through her that I shouldn't be giving my energy to something or someone that doesn't really serve my purpose and I'm just happy that I did that. I'm happy that I'm doing it. I'm happy I'm 25 now, even though I don't look 25. Like I take my makeup off, I look 11. <laughs> I am a 25 year old, 11 year old, 50 year old. What that means is I'm 25 years old, but I think like a 50 year old, but I look 11. <laughs> so um, thank you for all the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. You guys are the best. I love you guys. Make sure y'all follow me on TikTok, 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 because your girl about to be TikTok famous. I'm almost at a thousand, like I'm like maybe less than 200 away from being TikTok famous. So I don't know how I did it because I just started back making TikToks. I don't know how I did it, but follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done it already. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Keep on slaying. Keep on doing what you're doing. Whether you're going to school, you're working, taking care of your children, holding it down. Whatever it is that you're doing, do it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.